question because it depends on the use case. Because if you're dealing with a virtual assistant to help someone in life sciences for patient care that can cause physical harm, then hallucinations and how you do your guardrails is your um, through prompt engineering becomes your biggest risk, you know, type of thing. If it's you're using a virtual assistant for your contact center, you know how we get these terrible bots are like, hi, um, whatever, and can I assist you when you go to a website? You know, this would be a, potentially a little bit more intelligent one uh, assistant. Now you're looking at bias uh, and ethics. Um, and those are the externally facing threats, meaning those are going to directly impact your reputation for your company and potentially cause catastrophic failure. And then you look at your internal threats, which is, hey, if someone just hacks my large language bottle, you know, through the regular controls that should be protecting any type of data, um, you know, that's the third I would say type of major risk, which is um, the back end stuff, um, not what the assistant is serving.